Have you ever wondered if alien life could already be here on Earth, hiding in plain sight? Imagine extraterrestrial beings that don't come from the stars but from the depths of our own oceans. What if life from other worlds isn't little green men or gray humanoid figures but creatures that look eerily similar to our terrestrial fauna? Could our planet be a cosmic zoo, a living exhibit for a universe much stranger than we ever dared to dream? What if we told you an alien might be living in our oceans? Enter the Asian sheep's head rasa, a creature so bizarre it's almost alien. Now this isn't your average fish. The Asian sheep's head rasa, or Semicosyphus reticulatus, is a marine marvel that defies all norms of the underwater world. Known for its peculiar, almost comical appearance, this fish sports a large bulbous forehead and a set of thick lips that would give any Hollywood starlet a run for their money. But it's not just about the looks. The Asian sheep's head rasa is a master of disguise with its gray and pink splotchy skin providing perfect camouflage against the rocky sea floor. But what truly sets this creature apart isn't its outlandish looks or its knack for disguise. No, it's something far more intriguing. This fish has the remarkable ability to change its sex. Yes, you heard it right. When the dominant male of the group dies or is removed, the largest female undergoes a transformation, changing her sex to male to take over the role. This process, known as sequential hermaphroditism, is a survival strategy that ensures the continuity of the species. This extraordinary creature is also a formidable predator, capable of crushing hard-shelled prey with its powerful jaws. It spends its days patrolling its territory, ensuring no intruders threaten its dominance. Now you may be wondering, what makes this fish so alien-like? Well consider this. Its unique physical characteristics, its ability to change sex, its territorial behavior, all these traits are not typically associated with the fish species we're familiar with. Doesn't it sound like something straight out of a science fiction novel? In the vast and mysterious expanse of the universe, it's not entirely far-fetched to consider the possibility of life forms that defy our understanding of biology. After all, on our very own planet, we have creatures like the Asian sheep's head rasa that challenge our perception of what's normal. Could this extraordinary creature be evidence of extraterrestrial life? Maybe, just maybe, the answer lies beneath the surface in the depths of our oceans, waiting to be discovered. Imagine a world dominated by the Asian sheep's head rasa. The very thought sends shivers down the spine, doesn't it? But let's delve into this hypothetical scenario, where these unusual rasas are not just the rulers of the marine world, but also our own. The invasion commences subtly, almost imperceptibly. Seemingly overnight, the Asian sheep's head rasa population explodes, their numbers increase exponentially, their presence felt in every body of water, from the deepest oceans to the smallest ponds. Their unique ability to change sex proves to be a substantial advantage, enabling them to adapt rapidly and reproduce at an unmatched pace. But it doesn't stop there. Using their prominent bulbous foreheads, they develop a method of communication, a series of vibrations and clicks that echo through the water. This language, undecipherable to humans, becomes their secret weapon, allowing them to coordinate and strategize in ways we can only imagine. Then, the unthinkable happens. They begin to evolve, adapting to life outside water. Their gills transform into lungs capable of extracting oxygen from air. Their fins morph into limbs able to navigate the terrestrial landscape. This new breed of Asian sheep's head rasa is now a force to reckon with, both on land and at sea. As they march onto our shores we are caught off guard. Their sudden emergence from the ocean depths is alarming, but their ability to survive and thrive on land is downright terrifying. They are everywhere, their bulbous heads and striking coloration a stark reminder of our dwindling supremacy. And then, the final blow. They start to display signs of advanced intelligence, solving complex problems, manipulating tools, and even exhibiting a basic understanding of technology. They learn, they adapt, and they conquer. The world as we know it is no longer. In this new world order the Asian sheep's head rasa reign supreme. They control the seas, the land, and most frighteningly, the airwaves. In this new world order, humans are no longer at the top of the food chain. But what would life look like under the reign of the Asian sheep's head rasa? Let's dive into this chilling hypothetical scenario, shall we? Imagine a world where our societies are transformed not by us but by an alien species from the depths of our own oceans. The Asian sheep's head rasa with their unique ability to change genders could potentially revolutionize our understanding of gender norms and societal structures. We might see a shift towards a more fluid society where the rigid boundaries we've lived by are dissolved. 
and we're left to navigate a new, uncharted social landscape. Technologically, how might we adapt? The Ross's incredible ability to navigate underwater environments might lead to advancements in marine technology and exploration. We might see the development of advanced underwater cities, harnessing the power of the oceans in ways we've never before imagined. Our transportation, communication and energy production could all be revolutionized, driven by a need to adapt to our new overlords' aquatic preferences. And what about our environment? The Asian sheep's head rasa, being a species native to the coral reefs, might push for the preservation and restoration of these precious ecosystems. This could lead to a significant decrease in greenhouse gas emissions and a shift towards more sustainable living practices. Our cities might become greener, our air cleaner and our oceans healthier. But it's not all rosy, there could be downsides too. For instance, the Ross's diet primarily consists of shellfish, which could lead to a dramatic surge in their populations. This could potentially disrupt the delicate balance of our marine ecosystems, leading to unforeseen consequences. And then there's the question of human rights. Would we still have the same freedoms under the rule of our new overlords? Or would we become subservient to the Ross's will, our lives dictated by the whims of a species far different from our own? It's a chilling vision of the future, isn't it? While it's all hypothetical, it does make for a fascinating thought experiment, doesn't it? After all, it's always good to be prepared for any eventuality, even if it is an invasion by an alien species from our own oceans. Of course, this is all purely hypothetical, or is it? As we delve deeper into this narrative, it's essential to consider the scientific probability of such a scenario. Could an alien invasion truly be spearheaded by an organism we currently categorize as a fish, the Asian sheep's head rasa, to be precise? In the realm of science, it's crucial to remember that we are limited by what we know and understand. Today, we recognize the Asian sheep's head rasa as an unusual species of fish that's caught our attention due to its unique physical characteristics. But what if we're just scratching the surface of understanding this creature's true potential? Now don't get me wrong, I'm not suggesting that we're on the brink of an alien invasion. What I am suggesting, however, is that the universe is vast, mysterious and full of surprises. It's filled with phenomena and creatures beyond our imagination. The Asian sheep's head rasa could be one such wonder that we're yet to fully comprehend. This brings us to an important point. The significance of biodiversity cannot be overstated. Every organism, no matter how minute or peculiar, plays a crucial role in the intricate web of life. The Asian sheep's head rasa, as odd as it may seem, contributes to the balance of our marine ecosystems. Protecting it, along with all other species, is not just ethical but essential for the survival of our planet. We often fear what we don't understand. This fear can lead us to create fantastical stories and theories, but instead of fearing the unknown, we should strive to learn more about it. The Asian sheep's head rasa is not an alien invader but a remarkable creature that deserves our respect and protection. In conclusion, while the idea of an alien invasion led by the Asian sheep's head rasa is an entertaining thought, it's far from reality. However, it serves as a reminder of the incredible diversity of life on our planet and the importance of its conservation. After all, in the vast universe, anything is possible. So what have we learned from our journey into the deep? We've delved into the world of the Asian sheep's head rasa, a fish so unique it seems otherworldly. With its bulbous forehead and prominent chin, it's easy to imagine it as an alien species, planning an invasion from beneath the waves. We've indulged in a thought experiment, a hypothetical scenario where these aquatic creatures rise to dominate the world. It's been a wild ride, hasn't it? The idea of coexisting with these marine overlords might have been amusing, even a little unsettling. But, let's remember, this is all in good fun. More importantly, we've highlighted the significance of biodiversity. Our world is a vast, intricate tapestry of life, and every creature, no matter how strange, plays a crucial role. The Asian sheep's head rasa, alien or not, is a vital part of our oceanic ecosystem. This journey has been about more than just a fish, it's about understanding the marvels of our planet, the mysteries it holds, and the importance of preserving its wonders. It's about appreciating the diversity of life and the delicate balance that keeps our world turning. So, as we wrap up this aquatic adventure, Let's carry forward this sense of curiosity and respect for our natural world. Next time you look into the ocean, remember, the alien you're imagining might already be here, staring right back at you.